Hi guys, how you all doing? Hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, I am finally filming that video that you guys said that you wanted me to do, which was the W7 kind of beauty roundup. Personally, I've been collecting W7 makeup for a long time. It's kind of that brand that you see around, but you look at and you might think, oh, you know, it's cheap. And it is, you know, we're not gonna lie. It is a cheap brand, it's a cheaper brand, but they do have some hidden gems. It's so, uh, I've got this massive bag and guys I don't know why I put it in this QVC bag but I did but you can see inside there this is basically most of my W7 makeup now if you didn't know W7 actually do a what do we now call it a, an ebony range and I didn't realize this until a few months ago when I actually went to Chanel Boateng's uh, masterclass that she did and in the goodie bags that she gave us she actually gave us a whole bunch of stuff in this W7 ebony range and then I went on to eBay and Amazon I think and I started adding more to that collection because I was quite impressed with what they actually had so I'm going to leave the W7 ebony range till last and I'm just going to go through things that we typically would know and I'm going to start off with the eyeshadow palettes from the W7 range now W7 have a they have quite a big eyeshadow range, I'd say, a very big one. And I think a lot of people know them because of their eyeshadows, especially because of these particular palettes. I think that most people have these palettes, one of them in one way or another. They have many of these. These I've got, I think I've got about three of these, not this particular one, but I've got three that come in like this, in this case. But this one I have is in the buff. And I think this is the most popular one because it's the one that's supposed to be most like the one of the naked palettes i can't remember which one but if you can see inside that's what it looks like inside there and i have to say this palette was one of my first eyeshadow palettes i used to love this eyeshadow palette I, this was actually quite a good palette so that's three of the shadow swatch there they're actually quite pigmented they're not like i won't say w7 eyeshadows are the best eyeshadows out there because they're not like, if you're like on a budget and stuff and you don't want to spend too much money or if you're looking for like a dupe of um, a certain product because W7 are like the kings of duping products then you know you will I think for the eyeshadows you won't be too disappointed but just know they're not like the best out there I'll try and link as many of these products down below for you on eBay or Amazon you can also find W7 in Peacocks as well in the UK and I'm sure there are other stores like Beauty Base as well um, in Westfield they are around and they do have their own website as well so they're not that difficult to find okay a palette that I was really impressed with actually is this one and it's called Toast all like metallic shades or shimmer shades in there and it's a variety of, of gold and bronze and then you've got this purple color right there so it's a very very beautiful beautiful eyeshadow palette here are the colors swatched there can you, you can just about see them really pretty eyeshadows gorgeous gorgeous palette but that's the eyeshadow palette called toasted and as I said again I would recommend it again they're not the most pigmented eyeshadows out there but you know on a budget really good and then I think in one of my favorite videos my recent one I think um, you heard me talk about uh, these palettes which are the W7 the Naughty 9 eyeshadows and I've got I got all four of them because I wanted to try them out and they're very affordable they're under four pounds each and you can find them on eBay and Amazon so I'll put the link down below for you this one is called Arabian Nights and this is an all like brown tone it's like brown it's more browns and goldish kind of tones in there this next one is called Arabian Nights and this is my favorite one this is the one I put in my actual favorites and um, this one is more like purple kind of purple reddish brown kind of tones in this I think it's gorgeous it's, I'm actually using this a lot of the shades in this in the matte shades anyway in my crease today um, so that's what I'm using today for my crease and transition I love it it's really really good another palette that I'm using today is the hard nights hard days night palette and it's the one that I've got all over my lid um, today so it's the blue I think I'm using this blue the um, greyish blue here and then this black so that row there is what I'm using it's not the most pigmented but I still think this one the Midsummer Nights one is better is the best one actually out of all three out of all four And then the last one I'm going to mention is this one called Bangkok Nights and this is an all purple palette. I haven't actually used this one very much so I can't really comment on it too much. It reminds me of the MAC 
times nine the purple palette um quite a lot so yeah and if you haven't noticed this is a dupe of the mac times nine palette so those are all the palettes from w7 that i have now out of all of those the ones that i would recommend i definitely would recommend the the times nine palettes but in particular i would recommend the um, mid summer nights palette so i decided to go online and check a few more things that they had and I saw that they had this, which is the I Dream Shadow Cream. And it reminds me a lot of, if I can find it, it reminds me a lot of the Jordana Made to Last Liquid Eyeshadows that I was talking about before in my favorites video and I did a get ready with me. But this is more like a taupey kind of color. Actually, it'll be really nice all over the lid. But as you can see, it's got that wand as well. It's a metallic kind of finish as well. And it's the, which one is this one? I Dream Shadow Cream. And I got it in the shade Copper Pot. Something else that I saw recently that they had were these Get Set Shadow Eye Bases. Eyeshadow Bases. And today I am using this one, which is the shade Natural. And it's like a, it's more of a Caucasian skin tone, um, you know, natural <laughs> nude color. Uh, so for me, it's not my skin tone. However, it's really good as a base. I did use it today and yeah, I like it actually. I just used it with a brush. I haven't found that it's um, made my eyeshadows crease or anything. So, so far so good, but I haven't really used these enough to kind of comment on how good they are. And then the other color I got was the white base color. I think they had a pearly white as well, but I didn't need that one. It goes, it doesn't go on like really greasy and that's the white one there. You can see it there. So as I said, I just use a brush to apply these. So that's the natural one there and that's the white base there. I did ages ago pick up this and I think I got this in, where did I get this from? I think I got this from Peacocks. This is the Argan Eyes um, Mascara. I used this a couple of times. I wasn't that impressed with it to be honest, but it's supposed to be a dupe of like, oh, what was it? Is it L'Oreal or one of those companies that came out with like Argan Oil um, infused mascara it just comes with them obviously mascara wand but it has like shorter bristles on there I completely forgot to use it today to be honest with you because um, I was thinking I don't really have a mascara for it and yeah and then I realized I do have a mascara for W7 okay so for my brows you saw in my last um, get ready with me video I used this which is the twist and shape eyebrow pencil and it's basically a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer I believe and anybody else that's come out with this particular type of pencil it's that thick pencil that's kind of slanted which I actually really liked and then you can twist it up as you can see there and I actually really liked it I am using it today and I'm using something else which I'll mention as well and then on the reverse side it just comes with a spoolie um yeah it's not it's quite a soft one as well so yeah it's, it works quite nicely something else that I use for my brows today is this and it's the Cabral brow thickener that they have and can you hear it it has like a ball in the lid I don't really know why it's basically a powder so you just open it up and it's a powder inside and then it comes with like this wand that you can see there and then you just use the powder to kind of fill out your brows um, any like sparse areas in your brows and it just makes your brow thicker it just makes it look very thick I would say to use this um, I would do my normal brow routine with the pencil and then I would go back in and kind of just fill in any areas that I felt that this didn't necessarily that my brow pencil didn't necessarily get I got this and this is the w7 pore perfection primer and this is basically a dupe for the benefit pore professional i think that's what it's called i don't know i don't really use that but yeah that's basically what it is it's a pore minimizer and yeah it works really well it's got that kind of silicone kind of um base to it it does have a bit of color to it um on my skin tone it doesn't really show up it just blends into non-existent so the color it just goes to like a translucent kind of finish i don't really have that many issues with pores so for me i didn't really you know to me it's just got a really nice smooth surface to it it is a little bit greasy that's one thing i will say about this now something else i got really excited about is this and it's the banana dreams loose powder and i got this ages ago guys and i was supposed to do a dupe video um on this powder but i completely forgot forgot about it to be honest it could be seen as a dupe for the 
Benai banana powder or it could be seen as a dupe for the Sasha Cosmetics powder. Now personally I think it's more close in terms of a dupe for the Sasha Cosmetics. I don't even have the banana powder um, from Ben Nye. But the reason I say I think it's more of a dupe for the Sasha Cosmetics is because of the packaging of this. As you can see, this is Sasha and this is the W7 powder. So yeah, 28 grams of powder in this. And in this you get 20 grams of powder, so you are getting more in the Sasha Cosmetics one. I can't remember how much this one is, but again, it's not expensive. I'm sure I did not pay more than five pounds for this. But Sasha does run quite expensive in the UK. It does run around 18 pounds or 15 pounds or something like that. But looking at the two, this one is more warm toned in, in terms of its yellow base. Whereas this one, by W7 is more peachy tone. Therefore, I would say that this one would work best on darker skin tones than this one does. Now, I am using the W7 one today, okay, on my face. It is nice, it's not a horrible product, it does work quite nicely. However, I think if you are not careful with it, it can get a little bit ashy. So that's the W7 one there, and that's Sasha at the bottom. So I'm not sure how well you can see this, but the Sasha one does pull more yellow, okay, than the um, W7 one. And that's why I say the W7 would work best for lighter skin tones. The W7 is a bit more gritty than the Sasha Cosmetics. Sasha Cosmetics feels a little bit more refined, a bit, a bit more smoother in its texture. And these are mini power puffs. I haven't actually used them, but they're basically the dupe of the mini beauty blenders. And yeah, you can pick these up. Can you see them there? You can pick these up from well, online, or you can get them from Peacocks or whatever. So yeah, just thought I'd mention these, that these are actually available as well. These are the W7, what are they? I don't even know what they're called. But they're just these W7 lipsticks that look like this. The ones I've kept are Burgundy, which is the shade I've got all over my lips and they're really, really pretty. And I kept Copper Queen, which is a gorgeous like copper color and I put this in the center of my lips today. Beautiful lipsticks. And again, you can find these online, but can you see the two there? and I definitely would recommend these two lipsticks if you like that kind of like a creamy finish to your lipsticks and if you're looking for like a metallic kind of lipstick then these two colors are beautiful and another lipstick that I recently picked up actually is this and this is the kiss proof lipstick and I just picked it up in the shade Cha Cha and it's like a nude color they had a few colors in this this lipstick reminds me of the new uh, the new or newer NYX lipsticks that they have the waterproof ones I think by NYX but that's the color there it's like a nude color and one thing about these lipsticks by W7 they have like a sweet scent to them so yeah it's called the lip legend and it's a matte top coat for lips so I thought why not try this now with you as you can see my lips are quite glossy because of the lipstick I'm wearing and then I'll just put some on my finger and we're just gonna tap it on and let's see how matte they get It hasn't made them like dry matte, but can you see the difference? Like, yeah, it has kind of, hmm. It's made it, it's made it more matte, but it hasn't like made it completely, like completely matte. Okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna talk about before we move on to the Ebony range is this, and it's called the Glow Commotion, and it's basically a shimmer highlighter palette, okay? And actually, I've just realized on there, it says shimmer, highlighter eyeshadow so it's yeah it's like three things in one i swatched it with my finger and i didn't like it and i thought this is a disaster this is not gonna be good but that's what it looks like inside so can you see it there that's it there now i'm actually using it today as my highlight today and when i used it with a brush i was like oh okay yes yes i know this is really really nice but when you use it with a brush this is what happens Can you see that glow? Oh, so good guys, so, so good. Yeah, it's definitely a gold highlighter. Yeah, definitely gold and not champagne. So good, definitely recommend this. Okay. So finally, I'm gonna talk about the W7 Ebony range and that basically means they, they are catering some of their line to darker skin tones. The first thing they have is this, and this is the Trio Concealer Wheel that they have. And this reminds me of a lot of concealer wheels that are out there, like the, um, especially like one from 
BH Cosmetics. It reminds me of that definitely. This one to me is better than the BH Cosmetics one. Like it does have one of those like orange base tones. It has a brown and it has like a yellowish kind of concealer in it. That's the orange shade there and then I'll do the brown. It is a nice one. The brown's a little bit too um, reddish in tone, but it's still quite nice. Now these ones aren't as creamy as the BH Cosmetics one and actually because of that I like it. You can see the three shades um, there. So yeah, they do work really well on deeper skin tones. So definitely check it out if you want to. They have these concealers called just the Catwalk Concealer. I don't know, but these two here that I've got. This one I'm using today under my eyes and on my chin and my forehead. This is actually quite nice. I did find it was a little bit difficult to blend out, but it's quite nice in giving me not too bright of a concealer kind of effect, if that makes sense. This one is called the, no, it's called Clay. It's nice. The only thing I don't like about these concealers, apart from the fact that it's a bit difficult to blend, is they run a bit, what's the word? They run a bit more like, they have like a greyish undertone to them. This is Clay here, so this one suits me best. Now this one is the one definitely I would do not like and I do not recommend, and it's called Earth. And I don't understand who or what or why they chose this color because it's like a green guys can you see that it looks like green i mean i don't know whose skin tone that would work on quickly i'm going to talk about the ebony range um, w7 shape and define powder which you guys saw me use in my get ready with me video and i am using it again today and i really really love it really really love it and it's supposed to be a dupe of i think like the sleek powders um that are out there but this one is much bigger than the sleek powders <laughs> to be honest and yeah it's probably around the same price so yeah definitely check this out can you see how deep it runs it works really really well some of you have told me that you do like the highlighter side really really nice it's like a goldish kind of bronze tone but that's the highlighter actually this is really pretty this is really nice can i can i add highlighter on top of highlighter guys why not okay i yes okay okay yes i do like this <laughs> look at my face guys i'm just glowing literally it's good guys so this palette definitely is one of my favorite things from the whole w7 range so this is the double bubble Bl blush the double bubble blush and it's the sex on the beach shade but it's a bit powdery i did use it today for my blush and my cheeks it is gorgeous a beautiful beautiful um color range for deep skin tones that tone of blush that i really love which is like that kind of golden golden bronzy kind of tone it's beautiful so definitely definitely check it out and it reminds me it's supposed to be a dupe i'm sure of the charlotte tilbury like nipple blush I don't even know what they're called, but they're those Charlotte Tilbury blushes that you're supposed to swirl and tap or something in the middle. Pink Sands is this beautiful, beautiful blusher that you can see there. And this is basically a dupe for the sleek blusher called Sahara. Guys, this is a dupe for Sahara, okay? If you can't find Sahara in sleek, this is basically it. It's like this kind of burnt orangey kind of tone beautiful and i definitely definitely recommend it can you just see it yeah you can kind of see it there can you see it so it's like a burnt orangey tone and it's a bit deep just slightly deeper than the sleek one that's why i prefer it but again a deep for it so love it and it's the pink sands one so this one's called red dawn and it's like a shimmer blusher it's more like a reddish brown kind of tone beautiful as well i have worn this one quite a bit as well it's the one at the bottom there can you see it yeah and then the last thing i'm going to talk about from this whole collection is this and it is the w7 ebony blotting press powder and it's a matte finish oil blotting powder the shade i'm in is deep and yeah it runs slightly orange in tone once i've kind of used it all over my face i don't really notice it i don't think you can see it because it really is kind of my skin tone but it comes in like this case like this and then there's a powder and then you flip it over you've got a mirror and you've got your powder your applicator sponge here as well so yeah it's really really good um definitely check it out and i am using it all over today as well and i actually use this um to kind of 
to kind of reduce the ashiness of the banana powder so yeah that's what i put under my eyes as well okay guys hopefully that was useful this was a very long video i apologize but i had to get through so much stuff for you guys but hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you want me to i don't know do like a get ready with me video using mostly w7 products then just let me know below hopefully see you very soon and i'm now just about to film a very big haul video so i'll speak to you guys very soon Take care. See you soon. Bye. Ciao. Goodbye, love. You flew right by, love.